Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a backdoor. Programs that allow to access anyone's computer, like we send the server to them, they open and open the next to their computer. It's a very simple remote control program. This is the program itself, the backdoor pro branch. Uh, it's invisible, it just runs on the system at the moment, but um for the time of the moment use FTP server to communicate. And I'm gonna sh show you step by step how to make it. You can make it more advanced, you can make it less advanced if you wish, it's up to you. I'm going to show you the really basic steps and basic setup how this can be achieved. All you have to do is go to... Um, I have an email account ready and uh, I'm going to use a zero fees... The zero fees .net website in order to um, set up a free FTP server. I've got some random bullshit username like... I don't know, anything like... Uh, John Smith or something like that. Password, make sure you remember it. It's mine can be... And uh, make sure you enter the correct address, uh, email address, something like uh, personal and like non English, doesn't matter. Register on the website, and uh, once you register, they will send you an email. It's free to register. Okay, uh, see if the password doesn't matter, anyways. Okay, I'll be waiting for that. Here we go. Get there now. Uh, click here to activate. It's sending us the email in just one second. Stop script if you wish, but yeah, click on Okay, while we wait for this uh, account to be set up, what we're going to do is uh, go to Visual Basic Studio, create a new project. It's going to be the finished layout of it, but create a new project anyway, I'll file new. New project called uh, Backdoor. So, like there's something you want really, but uh, hey, on that we're gonna put in the start the basics to it now. Okay, we will need the button. Submit button. Over there. Submit button. We're gonna need uh, two labels. Okay, stop here somewhere. Just wait. Any time you want to insert. I was thinking of making uh, one video for the control and one video for the rat itself, so text box into them. Probably two videos for the tutorial, hopefully it will just uh, fit into videos and make it a bit smaller. Okay. Okay. Maybe in here somewhere. Okay, and a few radio buttons. You can have as much radio buttons as you like for a different command in the new radio button for each command. But I just got a few of them in there. I was thinking of four should be enough. Yeah, I think four should be good. I was I went to YouTube and I couldn't find any good videos for the tutorials. So uh, there are some fake ones, all right, but like some of that one good ones. Okay, radio right, button one's gonna be download. Uh, you can add anything you want in there, like any program, any virus, any shit you want. Put a virus right in front of it. Check on the thing. How's it doing? That's the hundred twenty seven. Okay. Next is gonna be ROM. That's the file we download, it's gonna be running the file. Next we're gonna delete. And uh, first was gonna be standby, fourth button. Doesn't do anything really, I just ignore the whole thing, right? Them two, label, them two buttons have to be uh, on touch, you can't uh, enable disabled, so disable them. So if you run the program, you can see you can't really enter and name them, we still can have control radio buttons. So. Okay, as text of button one is gonna be action. Whatever you want, you can name it, and uh, label two is gonna be status. And uh, label one is going to be current. Current status as it was exactly is on FTP server right now. Uh, you can change icons, makes a bit of difference really. You can customize the form any way you like. For the, you we'll probably would start as simple as um, a hash or a tab, but we start with action button. Okay, so we can go to pin me dot enabled, go to false. So, okay. Timer 2. Oh, you don't have timer yet, okay. Uh, you, need, you have to add uh, three timers, so if I forgot about them, uh, timer 
1. Timer 1 is going to be enabled. And it's going to set 100 interval. Timer 2 is going to be disabled, saved to 5000. And timer 3 is going to be 3000. Enabled 3000. Okay, uh, back to problem 1. Timer. Number one. Timer two. Timer two. Dot enabled equal to true. It's disabled at the moment. It's enabled now. From my true. Now you type in this com function. Try. So I'll provide the code in description. So dim client credentials. Client as new net dot net dot web client. I cannot do brackets too much like so. I need a blank, okay. And then client tour credentials is equals to new space net dot network network access credentials. And then leave two brackets and inside them we do the following. Here. In here is going to be a password that you used for the registration, and in here is going to be the FTP location. It's going to be like that: is zero underscore, and then say nine two four eight five, like your account number. Or it'll actually show you once you register. Ah, here you go. That's the DRC. I'm going to be using that one right there. It's done now for us. Okay. All you might do, all you might do, you just want to print the hash to or save it somewhere, some safe place. It's a good idea to have it, or I think just uh, print mine off so it have it. Okay, and the password. The password I use for it. And uh, okay, type in the, the I want to type in these credentials. Uh, type in another line. Like, type in and I type this in. Client. Upload client to upload file. Upload file, and then specify the FTP location. And we have to do for you have to go back to FileZilla for a moment and log in, and I'll show you how to do that. Now. Type code say here. FileZilla host. Right here, host. 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 host for the host and password simple. Connect. Remember password yes. Sim connects the moment we're going to have DCC. There's the files. You can delete them if you want. But like I can if it doesn't make a difference. Right, so we can do is create a new for create a new uh, file called uh, mm -hmm. txt Simple text document right there, okay. That's command of text. Then you right click and then copy your old clipboard and then you go back into Visual Studio and see the double quotation here, just paste it in here. Just like so. Oh, okay, something on here. Upload string by as upload. The file I should have used the uh, string. Here you go. Something wrong. Client. Ah, here it was. Makes sense. Now I forgot to specify location. Now it should be working. Not that I here you go. See, textbox one's going to be a location of the file. What we'll actually do is the command com .bay, it'll actually upload the whatever type in the text box right there as a command, it'll actually upload on the website. That's the most best difficult bit about this, uh, this code right there. Then catch the exception, it's good, it's in here already. And then we're just gonna MSG box. Something like couldn't connect to could not connect. Deportation. Come on, you must be as a critical, MSG critical. Um, I critical. Uh, critical, okay, that's great. Uh, 
Right, just test the connections moment. Should connect now. Okay, the shouldn't be any errors now. Let's see if it's connected next moment. Okay, it's quite we are in there. Won't give it time to enable itself. Connect, it's taking the time to connect to FTP server. It's good. It's connected. You didn't get any errors, so it's good. We are connected at the moment, that's great. Okay, so and try and sub. Now, what I'm gonna do is the timer won't uptake. I'm gonna say the timer won't, okay. It's gonna simple if if radio button radio button one dot check to check is equal to true or oh, it's checked for so not true then text box one dot text is equal to in this case can wire or wire just simply end if okay copy that and you can pick it a few times. Okay, like that. Instead of var for an X, we just change the var by running it to run, run, and then del, del. You can use any command you like, if you remember them. And then, no, no. That's great. Okay. Now for the timer 2.tick, it will just enable the form and it'll actually uh, let us know what exactly going on in the sand. Some things uh, online server. Okay, as you can see now, it's moment to click here and select anything. So, uh, okay. I'll show you how it works. So you click here, and time of one. I think something's not fine with this form, so it's not working right. Enabled, so I can find them. Okay. Ah, it's trick button two to check, and then it's button three, and then four. So it's just, just a thing you have to change the time with it as well. So it should work now. Okay, let me check. You can see Ron, Del, Ron, Virus. It should, it should be War for Virus, Ron to Ron, Del for Del, and Standby should be no. Okay, the action. Okay, it's not, it's not might be happening, not, it might think it's not happening here, but as you go back into the command, we add the file. You can see it's coming to now, it's momentary, it's good. I can say to uh, hello, it should come on, it should update itself automatically, current, right, save it. Okay, gonna save it, yes, save this file. It'll, uh, yes, load, should come up in here in a second, it's hello, I think. Just communicating with the FTP server, this TXT file right there. It's updates every 5 seconds, I think, so it just takes some time for a rerun the form. Should be fine. Check now. Stand by. No. Stop scoring. No. Stop scoring. That's good. Okay. Oh, it doesn't make any sense because it, there's no function for putting it out. Putting it out. Okay. Right. We're going to be doing the timer 2 now. So. Type in me. Dot enabled. Me. Dot enabled. Enabled. Equal to true. Timer to enable false. False. An MG box. An MG box. Like that. So we'll say like that. Okay. And then I MG. Okay. Let's see. Oh yes, if you go back in here from here, you can come in here, just type in error, and put a little close around it. Oh shit. Error, like so. And here, you're gonna do is the comma, and type information, and then comma, and then double quotes around it. Okay, that's great. Okay, now timer 2 should be like that. Okay, we go back to uh, timer 3. That's where it will upload all the credentials and it says what we actually need for timer 3. So just check that out. It should just say delete file or delete heads up button. It should actually enable safe after a few 5 seconds. Command OK. But there's nothing to pull the command from the internet. So you go back to FileZilla now and use that. 
Oops, I don't need them. Uh, fuse that. And you see Dell on it now, see? But in order... Uh, in order for a command to understand and to communi communicate with the backdoor, we have to install some to download the file and see what the backdoor actually is at the moment. Stand by now, action. Do much, but no, no, okay. Okay. Stop that for a minute. Okay, now timer 3. Can put here. We are gonna copy paste some bits and pieces into it. It's gonna be Troy. Then. Dimple Frenchman for a coin. Okay, there you have that. Let me still grab it. What is Dimple Frenchman? All of that. I'm actually on Troy. Copy, copy entire uh, bottom one click. And then just uh, paste it in here. Delete one of the Okay. And here we have the changes. Instead of a. Uh, two base pieces in here. Okay. Client credential equal to. Okay. New dot net. Keep that the same. You put your password in here. I use Google for my one. For that one in here, client upload string. What we do is. Uh, Collide instead of upload, we can just do download. Okay. And the front of a client, we print text box, text box 2, text. Okay, equal to. No, it should work. Where is that error in it? Okay, it should work for something. Ah, oh, here we go. Line down on screen. Let's see if it makes sense now. Client dot download string. Okay, then get rid of that. Okay. Just like telling download catch exception and try MHG box critical uh could not download couldn't download. Ah, maybe, maybe it's used to say no. If you want, you can have it in, but I think it's kind of sort of useless. Okay, great word. Don't need fresh. Okay, and uh, that's, I think, so there is a uh, total need for this program to work now. So you do is I go delete virus and go action. It'll actually send a command to FTP server right now. It'll come back right there, see Dell, Dell. So, okay, command that is great. And uh, standby. Because it's taking its time for a while and we'll command. Okay, that's what we need the moment. Just stand by at the moment. So uh, I'll stop this video right now and I'll make a part two to this video and I'll like, explain in part two how to make the rats that you send to people. Uh, in order to add more commands to the left, you extract on the box and then uh, add more buttons and uh, more commands and then program it in backdoor. I'll show you how to do that in just one second. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the